Honey Dew. Textbook in English for Class 8. Page 1. Notes for the Teacher. General. Learning a language means using it for a wide variety of purposes. Language is best acquired when attention is focused on meaning, not on form. Words and phrases not closely related to objects and action remain empty and lifeless to young learners. Language comes alive when presented in meaning, making contexts. Words and phrases that are used to accomplish many useful purposes follow a certain system inherent in the language itself. Learners become familiar with the system through continuous exposure to the language in meaning-focused situations. Interaction, discussion and sharing of ideas among learners provide opportunities that elicit real information about them and their experiences and opinions. Encourage learners to work in pairs and small groups and let them go beyond the textbook by providing a variety of language inputs for spontaneous and natural use of language. Build on the exercises given in the textbook and design more tasks and activities in keeping with learners' interests, needs and surroundings. Employ free response exercises with more than one possible response. Promote reading habits through story reading, not merely teaching stories as texts, story retelling, choral reading, shared reading, etc. Create class libraries for exchange of books and shared reading. The library may also move with the children to the next higher class. Poems need not be taught line by line, word by word. You may give a model reading, but let every child read the poem on her or his own to feel the richness of language, rhythm and music of words. Exercises accompanying the poem are more for understanding the poem as a whole than for teaching language items. You will find that some advertisements have been given on the inner covers of the textbook. Have a discussion in the class on these concerns. You may ask them to do a project on these social issues and concerns, such as educating the girl child, environment protection. Page 2 Encourage learners to tell new stories, narrate anecdotes, compose short poems in English or their own language, talk about pictures, illustrations in the book and cartoons in newspapers and magazines. Don't get anxious about the errors they will make. Constant exposure, practice and correction in the form of feedback will help them improve themselves by and by. Every page has a column for words and meanings. Encourage children to write down other words they find difficult, along with their meanings, in this column. Units 1 to 3 The best Christmas present in the world. Some suggestions given below are applicable to all prose lessons in the book. A war story against the backdrop of Christmas a festival marked by family reunion, exchange of presents and universal bonhomie. Connie, aged 101, receives a present from a stranger whom she mistakes for her long-awaited husband. What is the present? The letter or the mistaken identity of the visitor? Spend about 20 minutes discussing the dates and events given under before you read. Since the answers are given later in the book, the focus should be on the nature of each event, whether, in human terms, the event recalls defeat and destruction or endeavor and success. Let children express their own views. Even if their observations do not reveal any understanding of the nature of events, the discussion session will provide an excellent base for initiating work on the story under reference. 
The story is sectioned into three parts. Parts two and three may be sectioned further according to convenience and time available. Discuss each illustration with reference to the story. Illustrations are given for better comprehension and sharper visual appeal. Comprehension check at the end of each section is a recall of what children have read so far. Design while reading comprehension exercises in the form of factual comprehension questions, multiple choice questions and or completion of sentences etc. Page 3 here is one example in three formats. Factual or inferential comprehension. Answer the question in your own words. Why is Jim ashamed to say that Fritz began it? Multiple choice. Mark the right answer. Jim is ashamed to say that Fritz began it because 1. He didn't know how to do it. 2. He wishes he had done it first. 3. He didn't want to do it. Sentence completion. Choose the right item and complete the sentence. But it is true. Dash. That Fritz began it. Options. Much to my delight. Shame. Dismay. A related item here is the use of begin and start in appropriate contexts. Use begin or start appropriately in the following sentences. 1. What time do you dash work in the morning? 2. If we want to get there, we should dash now. 3. The film dash at 7 p.m. 4. No matter how you try, the car won't dash. Very often, begin and start can be used in the same way, though start is more common in informal speech. Refer to sentences 1 and 3. In some constructions, only start can be used. Refer to sentences 2 and 4. Questions under working with the text to be answered orally, later to be written in the copybook. At the end of the lesson, draw children's attention to the two quotations given in the box. Let them discuss how the story illustrates the same ideas. Then, ask them to find sentences in the story which appeal to them most. Here are some examples. We agreed about everything and he was my enemy. No one dies in a football match. No children are orphaned. No wives become widows. I know from all that happened today how much both armies long for peace. We shall be together again. I'm sure of it. It's a good example of the use of irony in the story. Page 4 The Ant and the Cricket Spend about 15 minutes eliciting and listening to fables or fable-like stories from children, preferably in their own language or languages. Help them retell one or two in English by providing appropriate words and phrases. The story about the sun and the wind at the end of Glimpses of the Past may be used here. Ask them if it's a fable though there are no animals in it. Try the following writing task. Rearrange the following sentences to construct a story. Start with sentence 4. 1. One cold day, a hungry grasshopper came to the anthill and begged for a little something to eat. 2. He replied, Alas! I spent all my time singing and playing and dancing and never thought about winter. 3. One ant asked him how he had spent his time during summer and whether he had saved anything for winter. 4. 
A nest of ants had been occupied all through the summer and autumn, collecting food for winter. 5. They carefully stored it in the underground chambers of their home. 6. Then we have nothing to give you. 7. Thus, when winter came, they had plenty to eat. 8. People who play and sing all summer should only dance in winter. 9. The ant answered. Find three adjectives in the first stanza associated with summer and spring. Find four phrases or lines in the same stanza associated with the onset of winter. Suppose the last line of the first stanza were to be rewritten as Oh, what will become of me? says the cricket. Would you find it acceptable in the poem? If not, why not? Speak the words given below. Ask children to write the word and against it two new words that rhyme. Page 5 Sing Dash Dash Crumb Dash Dash Through Dash Dash Wished Dash Dash Last sound in crumb is M. In wished it is T. Activity 4 under Working with language needs patience and time. Punctuation in writing sentences is an important teaching point. Since the activity is to be taken up in groups, there will be several versions of each sentence to begin with. Encourage children to discuss why only one version is grammatically acceptable and not the other. The Tsunami a natural calamity causing huge destruction and loss of life and property. Alongside the story of deep sorrow are reassuring details of courage, survival and resilience. While covering sections and subsections of the text, focus on situations in which children realize the importance of doing whatever possible to save human and animal life to participate in relief work and to understand the concept of disaster management. Elicit their comments on and reactions to the stories of Meghna and Almas. Focus on values such as courage, care and compassion in the bitter struggle for survival and rehabilitation. The activity under Before You Read is like an elementary geography lesson. Map reading along with language work, that is, asking or answering questions, spotting location and direction, and describing them with precision, is a good example of softening subject boundaries and conforming to the idea of language across the curriculum. Use other maps from the geography or history textbook for further practice. While dealing with active and passive voice, that is, working with language, Activity 3 provides samples of texts exemplifying the use of passive voice, such as short newspaper reports and descriptions of processes and experiments. As far as possible, avoid a mechanical transformation exercise confined to isolated sentences. Try a simple exercise given here. Page 6 Complete the passage using passive forms of the verbs given in brackets. Olive oil, dash, in brackets, use, for cooking, salad dressing, etc. Olives, dash, in brackets, pick, in autumn when they are ripe. They, dash. In brackets, shake from the trees and dash in brackets, gather up usually by hand. Then they dash in brackets, grind 
to a thick paste which dash in brackets spread onto special mats. The mats then dash in brackets layer up on the pressing machine which will gently squeeze them to produce olive oil. The last activity under speaking and writing is a step towards reducing the gap between children's life at school and their life outside the school. Geography Lesson Children already know words like aeroplane, airport, etc. Draw their attention to words like jetliner, jet engine and jet lag in the following activity. 1. Match items under A with those under B. A. Jet liner. Jet lag. Jet engine. The jet set. B. Fatigue or tiredness after a long flight. Rich social group flying around the world for business or pleasure. Aircraft powered by a jet engine. Engine that emits high-speed hot gases at the back when it moves forward. 2. Check the meaning of jet black and jet sam in the dictionary. Complete the idiom jet sam and dash. Today, if there is a border dispute or any other contentious issue between two countries, an organization called the United Nations acts as a mediator to keep peace and order in the world. Encourage children to gather information about the UN and its constituent bodies. Peace Memorial Park is the only park of its kind in the world. It is in Hiroshima, Japan and marks the spot where the first atomic bomb was dropped on dash. Children will remember the date and event if they recall the activity under Before You Read in The Best Christmas Present in the World. A mini-project could be planned on this. Page 7 Ask children to draw a map of their locality or village depicting its physical features and distances between places, etc. Recite and write on the blackboard the following poem and discuss the items given at the end of the poem. Wake gently this morning to a different day. Listen, there is no bray of buses, no horns blow. There is only the silence of a city hushed with snow. Name a few cities in India which the poem reminds you of. Which words or phrases in the poem evoke images different from those suggested by the silence of the city? Glimpses of the past. Glimpses of the history of our country to be understood through pictures with strips of text for support. Children have a natural enthusiasm for this kind of material in the textbook. Children may read the comic strip aloud. Then they break up into small groups, discuss what they have read and write a summary. Each group presents its summary one by one. The whole class then enters into a general discussion and a consolidated draft of the composition is prepared with the active support of the teacher. Conversely, divide the class into small groups. Let each group look at and describe a set of pictures assigned to them and construct their own text. Texts thus produced can be put together to form a coherent story to be edited for accuracy. Page 8 If necessary, Texts may first be produced in the child's own language and the teacher can help them to reformulate these in English. For children fluent in English, this may be an opportunity to formulate equivalent texts in their own languages.
Some details of each glimpse of the past may be had from the history textbook of the same class. The history teacher may be invited to facilitate the activity. Picture reading under speaking and writing to be attempted in the same manner. Creating a comic. Activity 5 will be great fun if children can be persuaded to draw and learn to draw matchstick figures. Enlist the help of the art teacher. Macavity, the mystery cat. Have you ever wondered why people generally communicate with their pet dog mainly in English? What would you say to persuade your cat to leave the mouse alone? Try to say it in English. Which sentence about Macavity has been repeated four times in the poem? Why has it been repeated? Think about it. Mention a couple of crimes discovered in the kitchen and your Macavity was nowhere to be seen. A fiend in feline shape. Does it remind you of a similar expression about a wolf? What is it? And what does it mean? Here are four lines about someone's cat. Read them and say whether it is a mystery cat. My kitten walks on velvet feet and makes no sound at all and in the doorway nightly sits to watch the darkness fall. Honey Dew You were just listening to this audiobook. Production assistants Minakshi Kugreti and Tanu Gupta Recorded by Batilang Lingdo Technical assistants Vikas Sangwan and Soumya Malik Produced by Ajit Horo and presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.